the sound of crying babies isn't something people usually like to hear. But apparently that was not the case. In Japan this week, Japanese parents flocked from all around to an ancient temple in Tokyo for the annual Naki, or Crying Baby Festival. It's kind of like a crying competition. Mm. Each baby enters the ring with a sumo, and the first to cry wins. Japanese tradition holds that crying is good for a baby's health. It brings good luck and can even ward off evil spirits. Mm. Aww. You know, I think that's true. I know my nieces, um, I, have, I have two new babies, we have two new babies in our family, and they bring them over, and um, and when they start crying, they're like, shh, don't, I'm like, it's okay, and crying, they, they, that's what they do. Just they cry, out. and it's okay. And they won't grow out of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, and then they turn to have teenagers, <laughs> and they cry some more. <laughs> Teenage yeah. girls do a lot of crying, I was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There will be no crying babies on board the flight. When you go oh, to yeah. Milan, oh, stay yeah. with us. We're just minutes away, and by that I mean about 42 minutes away. From your chance to win a trip to Milan. I mean, you might be like waiting impatiently for this, but you have to know that we're going to hold on to this until the very <laughs> last second before we give you a chance to win. So you just got to stick with us. This is uh, Norwegian Air. They fly out of LAX already, and they're launching a new service starting in June, nonstop from LAX straight through to Milan. And the price, God, what pretty places, huh? Mm -hmm. Church. Can't beat the price. One sixty nine each way. And, Pretty you know, amazing. it's a nice seat. Now, here's the deal. Norwegian. You get to bring one bag. Mm -hmm. uh, meals are not included. Mm -hmm. So you, you swipe your card and you buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're turkey sandwiches and all that kind of or thing. Or you pack a lunch. Or you pack a lunch. Yeah. But these are brand new Dreamliners, which are a nice plane to fly on the Dreamliner. Do you, are you an aisle or a window? Please don't tell me you're in middle. You know, there's no way you're the Are you the middle? Well, if I'm with David and Olivia, yeah, I'll be in the middle. She's the glue that holds everything I'm in the middle. Together. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Because I want to be next to him and her. And where does he do? Aisle? Um, yeah, I, he likes the aisle and she likes the window. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So what are you? I'm an aisle. Yeah, I gotta angle it back. I mean, I gotta... Yeah, I have, I have the bladder the size so, of a you know, it, <laughs> True. true. <laughs> it's true. Um, if somebody else in the family wanted, what did you say you were the window? I am the aisle. The aisle, the aisle right. <laughs> If somebody else in your family really wanted the aisle, would you give them the aisle? Would you take the middle? Absolutely, but I would not let Isabella sit in the aisle because I just believe, you know, people walking yeah. by and bumping yeah. in and just make it, keep your child protected a little bit, you know. Yeah, I'm wondering if you would yeah. give up your, your favorite seat for the... Oh, absolutely. I knew that. Now, do you always pick the seat on the airline or do you just let them... Well, that's a good you? question. So I, I, I tried this Norwegian for the very first time ever. And, uh, you know, you don't get to pick a seat in advance, but you pay a little tiny bit more and you get to, to pick it. I do like to, when you're traveling together as a family, you have two choices. Show up to the airport super early, right. be very nice and complimentary to the gate agents, ring, and all the <laughs> And you'll get to sit wherever you want. He's a charmer. He knows the trick. Or show up a little Oh, my <laughs> Every gosh. Single <laughs> There's so many tricks. Wait a minute. I have a trick for you. Okay. Here's the deal. Show up at the airport. First off, I have no sympathy for people who don't show up to the airport early. Mm -hmm. You know what time things are going. Get there early. Stop being in a panic. It's not everybody else's problem. <laughs> Is this thing working or do I need to turn it off? If you get to LAX a couple minutes early, like I did yesterday, you will find, like I did, those smart cards all over, especially they always leave them in the oversized vehicle lot, which is just before the Tom Bradley parking lot. You just pick that thing up and you save yourself five bucks. Right. Mm. I saw oh, five bucks yesterday. Look at that. Yeah. Work in so I, thought, I thought you were going to tell us that you picked them all up and put them all back because you had extra time. And I was like, well done. No, Very I will say my wife's influence on me. I was not a person that would push the shopping cart back to the... Uh, oh, really? You would just little, leave it? Yeah. I would just leave it. Yeah. And she influenced me. Yeah, I don't... Her father also, before Very he passed, the influence me to confident. never uh, litter. So oh, yeah. I was a little bit of a litterer. Really? Yeah. A litterer? Yes. Really? Yeah, like I'd spit my gum out in the bush. Oh gosh! Yesterday, I just be honest. I was at. You've made me a better person, sweetheart. Not in every way. But we thank you, and everybody else thanks you. The ocean thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> you said you would her. You yeah, used to her. So I was at I was at um, my high school yesterday for that event, and it brought back flashbacks. Correct. And no, no, it was it was nostalgic, but not sad. Um, so we had an honor system and every i don't know if they still do this but we always had to write down after every test on my honor this is my own work mm -hmm. and there was also a non-stealing clause that everyone stuck to mm -hmm. i don't know if anyone stole um so it was interesting walking down the halls because they used to have a piece of tape a piece of purple tape that was our color and everything on one side of the tape no one could touch and so that's what we would do but it, it brought back that kind of memory 
So I was not a litterer and I was not a stealer. You've always been an angel. <laughs> no. They were, other, from it. there were other things that she did that we'll talk about next. <laughs> we'll be right back. We talked about that last weekend, actually. <laughs> so.